Hey guys, what's up? So probably most of you know this already, but if not, I've recently bought yet another golden pen. And just so you understand this, uh, this is actually my third golden pen I got my hands on. So it's not really anything quote unquote new. Anyway, there is one more thing, one more important thing that I would like to talk about in this video. So actually some of you actually may have noticed that I used to be banned on Backpack.t a few days ago. Okay, well calm down, um, by the way my ban on Backpack.t has been officially lifted uh, today and I'm not actually banned there anymore, but yeah, I would like to discuss the reason being for that, like uh, what actually happened, why I got banned and so on. So some of you may actually assume that I scammed someone or whatever uh, other nonsense. Alright, so let me actually tell you guys the real story behind it. So about two weeks ago from now on, I've been reselling most of my stuff for pure keys and then I actually got an idea of reselling my unusuals for golden prime pan. But the only way how to get an item so expensive like this is to overpay insanely for it. Now, just so you know, I've must send like uh, 100 plus offers uh, um, in the first day of uh, for my Scorching Team Captain and Scorching Flame Starring. Now, every golden pan owner declined this offer, so I've decided to make yet another offer and make it a bit more interesting and replace the Team Captain with my Burning Patriot Peak and also add my one more unusual the Phosphorus Executioner on top. So in total I've offered somewhere around uh, 1900 keys in unusuals. I'm assuming that most of you know this, but like pans sell for like 1100 keys pure. So I've overpaid by like 800 keys in items, which is indeed a great overpay in my opinion. I was actually more than confident that someone will accept this offer and yeah, after like 5 or 10 minutes one of the guys accepted the offer. And sadly enough, the first guy who accepted this offer happened to be a marked scammer. Now, I also do realize that this was purely my own fault. I also do realize that uh, it's my own duty to check that. But as I said, I've must send well over 200 offers in a matter of few hours. And also, I would like to mention one more thing. Um, the marked guy who I bought the golden pan from, uh, I had like 10 plus steam friends in common, like I'm not going to name anyone from them, but like take my word that everyone from there was uh, basically a high tier trader known in the community. So yeah, I'm not really sure what does that mean in the first place. So in conclusion, I've traded a scammer for the second time in my life without any higher intentions. I mean, obviously, if I knew that the guy was a scammer, I would for sure not pay like 1900 keys in unusuals, like I'm not that of an idiot. Going by TF2 Outpost rules, since this is my second time I've traded a scammer or whatever, it's actually considered as if I were dangerous for the community and I have to be permanently banned at the site. I mean, what's the logic behind this? So why am I mad? It's simple. I can name you at least like 10 plus people who are being considered as if they had a high community status. And uh, what if I actually tell you that all of these uh, 10 people have something in common? They're actually all scammers. This however wouldn't be an issue, like I'm not going to name anyone because I'm simply not the type of guy, but like the thing that pisses me off is that there are actually real scammers running around who are still not banned anywhere including TF2 Outpost. And the system is pretty absurd in my opinion, like I do realize that it's kinda my fault, but yeah, like I said, I've must send like well over 200 offers in a few hours and I had like 10 friends in common with uh, the quote unquote scammer. So why did I have 10 friends in common with him in the first place? I mean, I already know that this uh, community is pretty fucked up, but like, are you kidding me? Then what actually happens is that uh, someone who gets banned, he will not stop trading, he will just make an alt and trade from there. And I don't really understand why TF2 Outpost staff act so shocked when people try to ban evade by creating alt accounts. Like, uh, guys, like till now I didn't really have any big problems with the TF2 Outpost stuff. Ban the real scammers and don't give permanent bans to people who actually trade the legit way. And also at end I'm not going to stop trading, I mean I've tried to appeal on TF2 Outpost so I can get my ban lifted. Uh, they actually responded with something in the line of uh, well man we are sorry but this is your second time you traded a scammer in your life. And also not mentioning that the value of this trade was just simply just too high to make us consider it. I mean guys for real? Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, I'm planning to upload many more videos very soon, just stay positive, but till then I will see you guys until the next one.